Oh man, am I excited to talk about this super divisive subject about MLV versus green glue versus neither. And I am strongly saying do not use mass loaded vinyl when you're soundproofing. And in this video, I'm going to talk about many reasons using science, graphs, facts, lab tests, you name it, to prove to you why you are being sold mass loaded vinyl because the companies selling you mass loaded vinyl have great marketing tactics, including high search results when you search for soundproofing, um, mass loaded vinyl becoming this common thing being passed around as the way to soundproof. But I'm here to try to break through the noise and show you why you're being duped. If you're interested, then continue watching. If you love mass loaded vinyl, then go to another video about how awesome mass loaded vinyl is. It won't hurt my feelings. For those of you who are serious about soundproofing and believe in what I am teaching, I have a resource for you that will help you get that soundproof studio you want. It is my free soundproofing workshop. To go to that, just go to soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's jump into this lesson on why you should not use mass loaded vinyl when soundproofing. All right, the very first concept that you must understand, which no one selling mass loaded vinyl will ever tell you, which is that your room is only as soundproof as your weakest link. The weakest link always is going to be the door or any sort of window. In a perfect world, you would have neither. You would have just walls, ceiling, and a floor, and your room would be super soundproof, but there would no way, be no way to get in or out. So the door, unfortunately, is gonna be our weakest link. Let's assume you're not putting any windows in your room to keep this a simple exercise. With the door, the most soundproof door you can possibly buy by one of the most reputable soundproofing door providers, Overly Doors, is 57, has an STC of 57. Now, for those of you who don't understand what STC is, it means sound transmission class. And it is a way that we can compare different assemblies. When I say assemblies, what I mean are different aspects of your room, the floor, the ceiling, the walls, the door, those are called assemblies. So when we're comparing a wall soundproof assembly to a door soundproof assembly, we want them to be equal or close to equal so that we know that our soundproofing is consistent. If you have a wall, for example, with an STC of let's say like 71 and a door with an STC of 57, your room will only have an STC of 57 because all the sound the wall is stopping will still come through your door. Trust me, I have this problem in my own studio and I know that my walls and my ceilings and my floor are freaking awesome, but my door lets in all the sound. So you're only as good as your weakest link. How does this have to do with mass loaded vinyl? Well, if you use things like mass loaded vinyl and green glue, you're beefing up your wall and your ceiling systems, but you are not beefing up your door system. So my argument is actually leaning towards not using green glue or mass loaded vinyl. I know, psh, mind blown. And I will explain that here in more depth. If we look at this diagram right here, we can see that a double wall system with two layers of drywall has an STC rating of 63. Now that's pretty good. And remember, this wall has no green glue in the middle and it has no mass loaded vinyl. Now back to my point that if we have a double wall system that is an STC of 63, that means for our studio to have that consistency of soundproofing, our door needs to have a rating of STC of 63, which as I just told you, to buy a super, super expensive door, the highest STC rating I found for a door on the internet with a quick Google search was from a company called IAC Acoustics, and they claim to have a door that you can buy that has an STC rating of 64. So if you bought that door and you did the double wall system, again, remember with no MLV or green glue, then you would have a consistent STC rating across the entire studio. Now, there is one fault with my logic, and that is that STC ratings only go down to 125 hertz. This means that it's not measured, when we talk about STC ratings, all the base stuff, everything below 125 hertz, which in a recording studio environment is extremely important to recognize. So, we need a wall that has a transmission loss that's as high as possible to cover those low frequencies. This is where green glue can come in handy. Let me show you how green glue can actually 
increase the transmission loss in your lower frequencies compared to regular drywall and mass loaded vinyl. These lab reports were done by the Green Glue company and they show how green glue compares to other products. This one I'm going to show you first is a graph of how green glue compares to mass loaded vinyl. As you can see in the lower frequencies, green glue does perform better than all other forms of mass loaded vinyl, whether it was limply hung or sandwiched between two layers of drywall. So it's better in the low frequencies. It's also much better across the other frequencies in the entire frequency spectrum. So green glue clearly is better than using just drywall and using mass loaded vinyl and drywall. However, again, based on my other point is like, how much is overkill versus how much do we really need? So remember, the door is always the weakest link when it comes to soundproofing. So if you beef up your walls, you're gonna have to also beef up your door. Another way to look at this is that if you have, let's say a communicating door system where you have a door on the outside and a door on the inside, technically to match your door to the walls, you would need to calculate the weight of all the material on your outside wall. Then you would need to calculate the weight of all the material on your inside wall and match the two doors accordingly. For example, I have another video on this, but if we had two layers of drywall, we would have to figure out the weight of that, which is gonna be roughly 4.4 pounds per square foot, I believe. And then our door would also have to equal 4.4 pounds per square foot for it to match the outside wall. Same thing with our inside wall. We'd have to build an inside door that also weighed 4.4 pounds per square foot. This would ensure that our mass is now matching our wall, creating roughly, more or less, a continuous system, creating that same amount of transmission loss between our walls and our doors. Now, if we add green glue, technically that would equal almost the equivalent of four layers of drywall on each side. Remember, green glue is adding isolation without adding weight because of its unique properties as a damping compound. So that said, we now would have to increase our door weight by double the amount. So the problem really comes down to as soon as you add green glue or mass loaded vinyl for that matter, you're increasing the effectiveness of your wall, which then means you then have to increase the effectiveness of your door in order to have a continuous level of soundproofing across your entire room. To do this, you would then need to increase the mass of your two doors. So back to our original idea of having 4.4 pounds per square foot, you would need to double the mass of your door to 8.8 .8 pounds per square foot. So you can see that it can be done, but in order to truly get the full benefit of having the green glue double wall system or the mass loaded vinyl system, your door has to be ridiculously heavy. And nobody is thinking about this on the internet. I'm not seeing anyone saying like, oh yeah, buy mass loaded vinyl, but then don't forget to beef up your windows and doors costing you thousands and thousands of more dollars to match the fact that your wall just got that much more soundproof. All right. I feel like this is something I'm passionate about and I hope this has helped you understand that you're being sold a salesman's trick by saying that something is suddenly better when you're not getting all the facts and saying, okay, buy a ton of mass loaded vinyl. Sure, great, that's awesome. It doesn't perform as well as green glue and it will increase the soundproofing if you did mass loaded vinyl and two layers of five eighths inch drywall, but it also increases your total cost and your total labor. So my th statement is instead of doing all this extra money and work to beef up your walls, because it just makes sense in your mind to beef up your walls, think about the whole system as a complete ecosystem, where if your windows and your doors aren't equally as soundproof as your walls and ceilings and floors, then my friend, your room will not have that same level of soundproofing that you were hoping for. All right, this was a fun video to make. It was complicated. I thought about it a lot and I hope it has been helpful in changing your mindset around how we look at soundproofing products and also being a better consumer knowing that people are trying to sell you stuff, whether it's green glue or mass loaded vinyl, they wanna make a sale. And so they're gonna do everything they can to convince you that it's the right choice. I'm here to tell you, maybe it's not. If you have found this helpful, if you believe what I'm teaching you, if you think that what I'm saying is gonna help you build a soundproof studio, then check out my soundproofing workshop 
at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. Thank you.